Hey everyone, so on this demo, um, we're going to be using my April, um, what is it, April Flowers collection still, and we're, uh, yeah, April Flowers collection, Color Couture, and I'm going to make something like this, kind of a tool, um, gauzy sort of abstract flower. So to begin with, we're going to start with these yellow leaves, and it's actually quite um, easier than it looks. So what I've done for the background is I've picked that red kind of color from this collection. I made it a little bit darker because I want that gauzy tool to stand out. And then we're going to start with the yellow leaves. So I'm going to go to my color palette and select the yellow. And let's go here. I've got a new document. I'm going to make a new layer. And I'm going to go to my regular paintbrush because we're going to do one color. And I'm going to go for the brush number eight in the tool and lace collection. And yeah, that should be good. So we're going to kind of just um, draw these uh, like something like this for the background of the flower. And because we're going to have a flower that's um, kind of open. Actually, let me just redo that. And we'll just go like this. This is good. Okay, I won't worry about it being perfect. And next we will, what am I going to do next? Um, let's create these nice little sort of pistol things in the center. So I'm going to create a new layer above that. I'm going to have my regular tool and I'm going to leave the yellow. My, my regular paintbrush, I'm going to leave the same yellow. I'm going to go to my brushes and I'm going to go and find in my new Undersea Dreams collection, actually brush number 27. Okay, that's good. So, got brush number 27, which is actually like a seaweed brush, but I think it will make a fine little center for my flower. And I'm going to go ahead and go to my styles collection, my creative couture styles, which you might keep them in your styles panel, but as I mentioned, I keep mine in my um, creative cloud library. And I'm going to put on that layer already one of my favorite styles, which is the um, Pave number 14 color style. And that one I like to use a lot. I love how it turned out. And I'm going to just draw some little little things here, kind of a center stamen. I don't know exactly what they're called, but I'll have them go up a little bit above my layer. And I won't worry about them being perfect, but just kind of playing around. Okay, that's good. So the next thing we're gonna do is put some fuzzy color blending in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a layer above this and I'm going to put a layer below those stamen center things. And I'm going to go over to my pattern stamp brush. And I'm going to go ahead and pick the color palette number two. I think that that one is a good one. And let's go to my brushes. And I've got artistic autumn brush number 31. And I'm going to first start behind those um, center pieces and above the back leaves. And I'm going to put just, oops, let's here undo that. And just, I'm going to blend, put a little bit of that there. Just use my brush. And then I'm going to go to the layer above those centers. And I'm going to put a little bit like that. That looks cool. And let me make sure it looks like my demo. I think, though, I might have used a slightly different color palette. Oh no, I know what I did. Okay, so the one behind it, I'm going to leave in the pink. And then I'm going to go, I believe, to this. Let's see here. I'm going to pick another color palette for on top. Let's go for the number five. And for that layer above it, yeah, I'm going to use the color palette number five. So I'm not going to worry about it being perfect. And then... We want to put some of the same leaves in front of it. So add a new layer on top. Let's go to my regular paintbrush. And let's go back down to my tool and lace number eight. Yeah. 
and I'm going to make sure I have that same yellow and kind of put some brush strokes in front here in the yellow to cover those up. That looks actually good. And it's cool because when you keep adding them, you kind of have like darker bits and lighter bits. It's quite, it's quite cool looking. It looks very tool, very um, kind of like something you would see on a couture dress or something like that. And that's pretty good. And then now we're gonna put around the edges this pink. So I'm gonna add one layer on top and one layer all the way in the very back. And then let's go over to my wet paint palettes. I wanna pick this bright pink here from the solid colors. And I want my regular paintbrush. I wanna get this tool and lace. We're gonna use number 11 because I want it with more of a big holes in it, more see-through. And I'll start with the top and I will, yeah, paint some strokes like this. That looks pretty good, yeah. And just kind of want to, don't worry about it being perfect, but I want it to look like it's in the front. And then I want to go to the very back layer and put some back here, like it's around the back. I'm kind of just playing with that. And yeah, so I think my first one is a little bit better, but you get the idea. And now we have this really cool little flower and you can use it for an invitation or uh, um, you can even sell it as clip art because you made it. And so there's a lot of different things you can do with it. Put it on your social media graphics, create an invitation template, a wedding template, whatever. But that gives you the general idea. <coughs> This one turned out a little bit better. And um, for the uh, All Access members, you will have, um, you'll have access to all these products. And even um, what I'll do is I will have this uh, PSD, this, this clip art, available for download for the All Access members as well. So you can go ahead and use this one. I'll, I'll use my first one that looks a little bit nicer. Um, but you can actually use this in items for sale. So you can use this illustration that I've made and Then now you see how I made it and you can make your own versions of them But I'll have this in the blog and social media downloads um, for the all-access members So uh, if you have any questions on the tutorial, just uh, send me write me a message down below in the comments